So is it, is this a special UV light? Yes, it's a proprietary bulb to that, and it emits two specific light frequencies that attract bugs. Think of it, like I said, like like a bug zap. It attracts them in, disorients them, they get the zapper, and they die. This, they fall in the water and they drown. You don't have to put anything in the water. Nope, you don't have to put anything in the water. And it may or may not effectively completely eliminate your need for spray, but it's going to kill a ton of bugs. Uh, it won't hold a ton. It won't hold a ton. It won't collapse a ton. But it'll, it'll kill a lot of bugs for you, and it'll tell you what's out there and get your stuff. Yeah, right. So really, a lot easier than having yeah. one of these companies come out and inspect for you. Will the like solar seven. panel charge it enough on a cloudy day to run all night? Or? Typically, it does. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is not, but we don't like working with this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, you said $100. For the, the unit is five hundred dollars. It covers an effective range of uh, five acres. It's got a, a life expectancy of seven to ten years, which gives you about a hundred dollars per acre for a seven-year coverage. We'll go, you know, low. That's even lower than that, really. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't, you're not paying somebody to go out and spray. You're not buying new spray equipment to keep it separate from your. You know, Keep your insecticide separate or cleaning the equipment if you have. He was a bug, right? Yeah. So, so your cost, anyway, cost on labor and a, uh, a big fluorescent it, tube, but we had to yeah. plug it in, so, right? Long yeah. extension cord, yeah. yeah. And uh, zap. Yeah, how many did, bugs did you get? Yeah, for corn borer and stuff. Uh, how many okay. bugs you got? Okay. And it worked no, well, it killed them. Yeah. A million? Well, we never counted. So, what do you do? Put it at the end? It's got about a 90% effective extension rate for anything in its area at that given point. Okay. You identify any Yeah, other? they just drown. They don't get fried. Yep. Well, I mean, you, can you identify, you know, what species it, it'll, it'll yeah. attract? It attracts any flying species. Um, so think of it like a bug zapper, like I said. Um, it has two different light frequencies. One attracts them in, one can disorient them, and then they hit the zapper and they zap and die. This will do the same thing, only it disorients them, they fall in the water and they drown. Yeah, probably moths. Is there a zapper here? Very, it's very no, good against no. moths. Yeah. They no, just, yeah. yeah, it disorients their flight it, and they it, just end up with the water. Yeah, okay. like coddling moth. Yep. And coddling yep. moth, it's very effective yeah, against coddling yep. moth. And about $100 an acre for what yep. do you get? So for a unit, that, a unit, unit? Is, a, is $500. Okay. It'll cover a five, a five acre area. Oh, I would probably. recommend overlapping them a little, slightly and, to get good coverage. Make sure you're, you're effective. There's no safe zones. So for $100 an acre, for seven years of coverage, there's nothing you can spray out there for that amount of money. And, and it's organic. Last, and it's organic. Seven, and the unit will last how long? Right. <laughs> seven to 10 years. I wonder if the asparagus beetles, do they fly? What? The yeah, they beetles. do. Yep. Would they be attracted to that? They should be. They I know. Fly. I know. If they fly and fly, fly at night, the, yep. fly during the day, I believe. I don't want to. Okay, we've got one more topic. We're going to be covering. It takes a while to get rid of. Uh, definitely which, one you're probably going to hear. In your experience, you've probably seen it. Uh, so please come on uh, over Japanese and keep Beatles. side conversations very quiet unless you're doing something else. They're, they're, the they're also active at night, so it just takes them a while to get. So you're, okay. you're a dealer for quite a big area? Or what? Yeah. yeah. Well, nationwide, really. We yeah. sell them all over the place. Yep. To, uh, Canada? We can ship to Canada. Yep. We, we ship a lot of stuff. We do a lot of business with Canada. So. How far up are you? Just across the current. Yeah, just we're just here in Williamson. I'll tell you what a lot of our Canadian guys do. They just come down and just wink, wink, take it home with them. Yep. You know, with less hassle. Yeah, well, yeah. I know it's I, been. I think, I think the, the cutoff Canadian. is eight hundred dollars worth of product. And this is for the U.S., China, like everything else. You're gonna rub China off there. Right? <laughs> USA, and then you got that free yep. trade shit in it. Yeah. Yep. North America. Yep. So these are light enough that I can ship them. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. UPS is not a real. Cost a little bit more than 